Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial video. Today we're going to look at adding filters to our report. This video was recorded in March 2021 using Visual Studio 2012. On screen I've got um, a report that I've been creating over the last couple of videos. It's a very basic report. If I select to preview my report you'll see that it just returns data from a, a basic select. But imagine I want to only show information that belong to a particular department. So there's a few ways of doing this, like in anything with, with this kind of thing. There's, a, there's, there's not just one way of kind of getting to that solution. So let us have a little look at a couple of ways. <clears throat> one of them is by me actually manually changing the SQL. So in here, if I right click my data set and choose data set properties, it brings me to the setup of my data set and I can um, if I'm unsure of my field names and such like, well, they are listed here. But also, if I go to my fields, you can see the um, the source name here. So what I'm interested in is I'm interested in saying where department equals it01. If I do refresh fields, it just validates that the SQL is OK. Now, if I click OK and I preview my report, I get my filtered data. Nice. Um, then if I go back to design, what I don't want to have to do is I don't want to have to uh, change my SQL every time. I, I want to be able to select in the report, I want to be able to type in a department and it show me those departments. So let me go back into my data set. Now I can do this two ways. I can right click and choose that or I can just double click on my data set and it'll take me into it. So I don't want to have to type in IT01 or, or HR01 or whatever the other options were. I want to be able to select or, or type it in as part of the report. So what I need to do is create a parameter. So um, I'm going to leave that as it is for now. I'm just going to click cancel for that. On the left hand side here, we have an option uh, of parameters. If I right click and choose our parameter, we're going to create a parameter that that allows us to put in a department name. Now we're going to start naming things properly now. So I'm going to call this P for parameter and I'm going to call it um, department. Now when I create a parameter, it will appear at the top um, and depending on settings, as long as it's visible, it will appear at the top of the report and ask me to provide information. So um, I will, it, it needs to have some sort of prompt so that whoever's running this report knows what the parameter is for. So I'm going to put in here, enter a depart, put department to filter data from. And I'll click OK. So we've got a parameter now called P department. Now if I go back to here, Within our SQL, we can get rid of that and we can create kind of a, a, an, a, an accompanying or a linking parameter. So I'm going to call that now when you're doing this in SSRS, these parameters have got to begin with an at sign. So I'm going to put an at and I'm going to call it debt. They don't have to match name wise. Um, as soon as I put at debt, if I go to parameters here, it now, <clears throat> excuse me, it now recognizes that a parameter exists in my query because it's gone into here and it's said, all right, there's something that begins with an at sign. I'm going to presume it's a parameter, which is correct. So this is my parameter from my query. Now it's saying, give me an adjoining parameter from the report itself. And there's our parameter that we created before, P department. Okay. So when I run this, it will offer me a parameter at the top to, to enter a value. Enter a department to filter data on. That's what we created as a parameter. And I'm going to put in there HR01. And now I'm going to select view report. And it's filtered it on HR01. So let's just go back to see how that's kind of made up. Our depart our parameter rather um it's a text parameter. It's a parameter is simply something that appears at the top of a report that asks for information. It's just, you know, it's 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 a box. It's a it's a, a yes no field. It's it can be a date filter. It can be anything really. Um, the point is, it shows at the top, and it's it's there to filter your data. So this is saying, 
give me give me some information give me give me a department code in this case then within your data set you've created a parameter here as part of your sql and in the parameters section you've joined the two so your query says select staff from employees where department equals my parameter name then in here you've said my parameter name equals whatever's in this parameter here which appears at the top of the report and that's how it all links together so if i go back and preview that report again and i put in uh, it or which is the original one we looked at and i click ok that works if i put something in there that doesn't make sense or is not recognized well it, it, it'll work but it won't return any data because your, your sql is not returning any data um last thing maybe we'll do for this video is um we'll give this parameter a default so let's just go back to design now actually this is a fair point uh when i've got this open now i'm in preview mode i can't select anything here on the left hand side uh it's all disabled while i'm in preview mode i've got to go back to design mode in order to start accessing these objects here so if i go to the p department um i will look at available values uh in the next video but if i go to default values i can say specify specify values and i can add an actual uh, default so i'll add um fn01 click ok and this default now will appear in my parameter as the report opens up and so because it's got a default it's actually got a value in here the report runs um if it didn't have a default the, the report wouldn't run and it would wait for you to put a value in so having a default is really good so you've got a default um and so it runs the report based on that default and then if you need to you can change that value to be another department and refilter it that's the end of this video uh any comments if you liked it please give me a, a a thumbs up if you've got any comments any feedback it's all appreciated it helps me to improve my content um thanks for watching see you next time